It was the Western Hemisphere's largest empire ever, with a population of nearly 10 million subjects. It had massive administrative centers, temples, and large road and canal systems. Constructed on an inhospitable terrain without the use of wheels, horses, iron, or even a written language, only to face its end around a hundred years after its rise. Archaeological evidence suggests that Incas first settled in the valley around 1200 CE before nearly getting overrun by the neighboring Chanka tribe in 1438. After years of growth and glory, the ninth Inca ruler, Pachacuti, formed the famous state of Machu Picchu. Pachacuti's son, Topa Inca, continued the empire's military expansion and became the ruler in 1471. By the end of his reign, the empire covered much of western South America. But little did he know that his son would experience the fall of this beautiful empire. In 1524, his son Huayna Capac was struck by fever which was linked to the Spanish conquest. They carried diseases to which the natives had no immunity. Millions lost their lives, including Huayna Capac and his heir. This led to a civil war between the two surviving brothers, greatly weakening the empire. After the elder brother won the civil war, he encountered the European invaders. Although the Spanish were heavily outnumbered, Francisco Pizarro and his small group emerged victorious by the help of guns and horses. Some Incas managed to take shelter in a new capital and resisted for the next 40 years. But by 1572, the Spaniards had destroyed all the resistance, along with much of the Inca's physical and cultural legacy. As a result, the fall of the Inca Empire was even faster than its rise.